little bit more purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we did a bunch of mask collecting, we got like five masks just from running around Termina and Clock Town, exploring a bunch of different places. In today's episode, we're going to get the adventure going quickly. And now, first of all, as you can see, I have the bunny hood on, but I'm actually going to play something. Now, I told you guys that if you play the Song of Time, like YYLLRR, it speeds you through time. Now, if you play it backwards, you can actually do something different, which means it slows down time for you. And that's actually something I'm going to do here today because I don't want the day to go too fast. I want the current flow of time to slow down so we can take care of a couple more things. I highly suggest if you're planning on doing a lot or going after a temple or something of that sort that you activate this. Now, I hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday. Happy Easter to you guys. I know it's been a bit. It took me a little bit to get this part up uh, just because I've been studying for exams this past week. I've been uh, pretty freaking busy. So, you know, I finally had the chance. I did pretty good on my exam. I got a solid B, and I'm like, you know what? Well, thankfully, I, I knocked it out. I did pretty good, and now I'm ready to keep on going. Uh, so, you know, we'll continue getting them up, hopefully, daily. As you can see, I just got us here a silver rupee. Now, I actually did this off screen. That's a very good spot for you to get a couple rupees. I got another one deposited in the bank for a reason. I actually want to do this before we head out of clock down uh, for a certain reason. Now, I know a couple of you guys are waiting for the big giveaway reveal, uh, which is actually going to be coming up right now. But let me go ahead and deposit these rupees really quickly. So with that, we deposited 99. We saved up 200. And with that, he's going to give us the adult wallet, which is pretty much the second biggest wallet you can get. We can now hold 200 rupees, which is pretty freaking cool. I'll definitely say that it's kind of nice to get a wallet. It's, it's pretty simple. Now, moving on to the giveaway. As I mentioned to you guys, you guys have been patient long enough, and I'm going to be announcing the two winners. So there's been two of you. As I said, I did a random YouTube comment selector, and these are the first two that popped up when I clicked random winner. And the two winners are, as you guys are about to see on screen, the first one is Jay Hockle R, and he goes, thank you for this, Rodri, really. Uh, and you're very welcome, man. I'm, I'm really glad that, you know, you're going get to get a chance to get the game and hopefully you play along. And the second winner is D Clan Thompson. He said, I said this in part three, but I wrote a journal prompt about who is your role model. I wrote about you. And that means a lot to me, man. Uh, it, it really does mean a lot to me to hear that. And I hope I can live up to those expectations. Uh, so thank you to all you guys that entered. Uh, if I could, I would give a game away to every single one of you. I just, you know, that's not really possible. I would be buying... Uh, bunch of freaking games for everyone uh but you know if i could i would i'm gonna try to do more giveaways in the future so make sure you stay tuned uh, you know maybe later down the road i'll end up giving away another copy or two of majora's mask uh just something i want to do as we get things going uh, i think it'll be a lot nicer if we can just you know start sharing a lot of little experiences together and uh, you know we'll see how it goes but look it seems like we bumped into something here because he was always playing tricks so nobody wanted to play with him but to do what he did just because of that and 
once he got his power. Well, there we have it, guys. That was actually a very deep moment. As you can see, it seems like the two fairies became friends with the Skull Kid, and then he went all crazy and pretty much betrayed them. Kind of sad to see uh, that friends can drift apart like that. But now we are here headed towards the swamp because this is the first area in this game where we're actually going to get a lot of crazy things going. What is this area? Swamp Shooting Gallery. Okay, well, we'll eventually have to do that. But for now, I just wanted us to get the story going and, you know, progress along with it because I feel like we've been in Clock Town for a long time now. So let's head towards the swamp and we are here at the Southern Swamp. Now, there's a lot of stuff we need to do here. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. And this place looks way different than what it did in Majora's Mask for the N64. Oh, this is a rare sight. You are a fairy child, correct? What business might you have in this poison swamp? If you dare not venture further, I shall pass no judgment. It is better that you retreat until you are ready to return. This swamp you're in has lost its garden deity, but it was destined to fade away. Hoot, and that destiny is not solely limited to the swamp. If you have the courage and determination to proceed in the face of destiny, then I shall teach you something useful. The stone tattoo over there that bears close resemblance to me. I place those throughout this land to aid the one with the power to change destiny wherever he may appear. If you have spoken forth to any of my stone statues and thus spread their wings, then the song carved in the stone at my feet will certainly be of some assistance. Remember it well and play it wherever the need arises. Okay, so there are notes carved in this stone, and this is going to be the song of soaring. This isn't where you learned it before, so they've definitely changed it, uh, but that's kind of cool. You know, if they want to give it to us now, I'll take it. The sooner we can get this song, the better. So with that, guys, we will have learned the Song of Soaring, which is pretty freaking cool. We got it pretty early, and this is pretty much a song that is going to allow us to teleport around and to just, you know, go from place to place so we don't have to keep walking everywhere. And with that, guys, we have learned our third song here in this game, and we can teleport to the owl statues as soon as you activate them. We learned the Song of Soaring. This melody swoops you up and sends you soaring to any stone owl statue you've already activated all in an instant. Whenever you play the song, we shall be reminded of our eternal friendship, which transcends both time and space. Thank you very much. With that, we are going to go ahead and awaken this statue as well. I guess they have made quite a couple changes. Uh, no, I do not want to save my progress. If you save your progress, by the way, it just kind of swaps you back. It, it just exits you out of the game. Um, or at least that's what it used to do. Let's go ahead and turn to the Deku. And, uh, you know, I have been doing the comments of the days. We did do a little bit of the giveaway today. But I still want to do a comment of the day here. Oh, my goodness. Let me just make sure I'm doing these jumps correctly. And uh, it just feels a little weird. I don't know why. I, I guess I can't really do, like, the spin jump thing that you used to be able to do. All right. So today's comment of the day, before we get going, this was a comment uh, from last video that it was just it was kind of weird. All right. So uh, Black Metroid says... I used to throw my Deku nuts at my brother. <laughs> I don't even know. I mean, I don't know what you mean by you threw your Deku nuts at your brother, dude. If anyone else understands that, by all means. I mean, uh, the only things I've thrown Deku nuts at are enemies. I never had Deku nuts in real life to throw at my brother. I don't have a brother. I, I never threw my Deku nuts at anyone. So, uh, you know, if anyone wants to figure out what, what he meant, I, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it up and, uh, you know, see where things go. I really have no freaking idea. All right, guys, with that, we have made it here to the Woods of Mystery. Beware of ferocious turtles. I'm going to go ahead and take our mask off then and uh, jump in there with a bunny hood. So nice to have. Highly suggest you guys get it if you haven't already. And look, there's a little monkey. Oh, follow me. All right, little monkey. Okay, so this is a tricky little bit. Uh, it's kind of like the Lost Woods in Ocarina of Time. Whereas if you go through the wrong door, it's going to mess you up. You're going to have a bad time. I'm just going to keep following the monkey. The pros is that we're really, really fast now. So we can pretty much just, you know, follow him anywhere we want and keep up to par with him. If you don't actually do this with the monkey, um, I suggest you start and stay as the Deku. Uh, because the Deku's spin is pretty fast as well. But, whoa, look! Oh, help me! All right, let's talk to her. I was just busy minding my own business picking mushrooms when, bam! I got hit from behind. That pesky skull kid, did he think an old hag wouldn't recognize him if he did his face? Uh-oh, to think he's that powerful and now I can't even move. Don't you have anything that gives you energy? Uh, I have Dark Metroid's Deku nuts that he used to throw at his brother. 
I mean, I, maybe Dark Metroid's Deku Nuts have some sort of magical power that I don't know about. Okay, so with that, we're going to go ahead and head out of here, actually, uh, because the only way we're going to be able to help her is through this little tent up here. All right, so let's head on up. I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. I've been having a pretty great time. Uh, reading the comments you guys leave me and just sharing along with you. Uh, it's really been a very fun interactive let's play so far And I hope we keep that going because it's been an absolute blast just getting to read some of your comments I get a good laugh out of it a lot of times. So you guys are pretty funny. All right, so we're here at the magic hags potion shop And now the cool thing about this is these are the twins if you guys remember uh, Kumi and whatever the other one's name is so basically they're twin sisters They run this potion shop and uh, she's gonna go ahead and give us a potion We've also obtained our first bottle of this game and this is gonna be the potion that we are gonna give to her sister So let's head back into the woods then these are all things that we have to do So don't think these are just you know little things. I'm doing to item collect if you never played a game before uh, It's actually things you do have to do. Uh, I kind of enjoy this part I think this is one of my favorite parts uh, you know, the next temple is definitely one of my favorite. Um, so let's go ahead and follow the monkey again. All right, monkey, go to town, bro. Go to town. Uh, also, if you do this on the second day and the third day, the monkey's path changes. So, yeah, you know, I usually do it on the first day. I don't really get lost because I do do the bunny hood strategy or whatever it is. Um, but if you are doing it for the first time, or uh, the second time, the third time, the map does change. So, so don't think you're going crazy. It actually does flip-flop on you. I remember the first time I did this, I really had no idea what I was doing. Oh, man, funny story right here. Okay, so if you guys have ever played Ocarina of Time compared to Majora's Mask, I'll actually show you guys right here. When you talk to these characters, um, well, in the old game, you used to be able to leave it on your C-Stick and just give it to them. Like, you used to, like, you know, L-trigger them or Z-target them and then give them the thing on Ocarina of Time. Like, you would click your uh, C-Stick C and give it to them. But in Majora's Mask, you had to, like, select the item and then do it through the dialogue. And I remember the first time I ever played through this game, I literally did it like 10 times, and I had no freaking idea why the heck she wasn't drinking the red potion. So I was like just trying to hand it to her with the Z-targeting, and I was like, why isn't this working? It wasn't until later I figured out that you had to press start and do it through the dialogue. But with that, Kumi is revived! All right, guys, Kumi is revived. So, you saved me! I'm the Swamp Tour Guy! I run the boat crew, so come by if you want a free ride! We definitely do want a free ride! So with that, guys, we have uh, helped her out, and now the tour guide is going to help us out so we can head back out of here. We actually have our first uh, little bottle, so we can put a fairy in the bottle now. You know, that'll heal us up a little bit, that'll get us going. And as you can see, it's only 9, uh, 9 a.m. here on Dawn of the First Day, so... Doing the inverse song of time really does help you out quite a bit. I highly suggest it. Also, you do have to be the Deku to get through these parts. Um, because if you aren't, you will take poisoning. And you will not be able to make it through these waters. So just, just a heads up for you guys. Uh, not really sure what's down that way. Um, I don't... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to go down that way. I don't think it's anything necessary for me to go down there right now. But let's just keep on going. Let's head back over here. As I said, there's a lot I want us to do today. And it'd be really nice if, uh, you know, we can make it through some troublesome areas and get to the area that I want us to. Okay, with that, I'm gonna head back up here and let's see if we can find Kumi or whatever her name was that we just helped out uh, in order to get us into where we want to be. You know what, actually, guys? We're actually very close uh, to doing a couple more things here that I want us to do. Uh, but you know what? We'll, 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 go on the, we'll go on the boat ride. We'll go on the boat ride just because we've come this far as of now. So let's go ahead and go through here. We'll go for the boat ride and then see where that takes us. Also, look at this guy right here. So this guy, uh, he's kind of in charge of the boat swamp and all these sorts of things. And he also is a big picture photographer guy. He's really big into taking pictures. So later on, there we go. We got the pictograph box. So this is the pictograph box. And uh, they give it to us. Oh, wow. So she automatically sends us to the boat. Welcome to the boat graph. All right. So I'm going to take out the camera actually right here. So we have it. And we can pretty much just take a nice picture. It's an easy uh, piece of heart or something, I believe. Oh, cool. You can control this with a 3DS. Um, if you take a picture of Tingle, I believe it was, or uh, a character we'll find later on, you can actually obtain, uh, I believe it's a piece of heart from that guy. So we'll be doing that later on once we get it going, unless they've changed it. So pretty much you can look around. That kind of looks like Death Mountain there from Ocarina of Time. A little bit strange, a little bit weird, but other than that, it looks like it's just a nice, pleasant cruise ride. Why is there a hive here? I have not seen a hive before in this area. This is kind of cool. It reminds me of Pokemon Snap. Um, if you guys have ever played Pokemon Snap, it, it really does remind me of that. If I remember correctly, there should be a little frog here. I heard it. 
I heard it. There's a little frog. So remember that little frog, guys. Remember that little frog. He's gonna come in handy. As you can see, they have this weird big octo dude. And the boat just straight up ramps through it. Bye-bye. See you later. Uh, man, what a great driver. Am I right? She is, uh, just handling that boat like a champ. I bet she's got her, her boating license. I bet she's, a uh, a complete boat pro, uh, but we are almost to where we want to be. Look at the moon! I'm gonna take a picture of that. That thing looks terrifying. I think we have one of our pictures, guys. That thing looks absolutely scary. We have landed here at the Deku Palace, and this is where we are going to leave off for today. So we are disembarking here, and as you can see, a monkey's here. You have strange powers, no? Me been watching you from the forest. Lately, this one filled with poison water. Woodfall Temple across Swamp Strange, but me and no able to find temple entrance. Temple for Deku only. Brother went to see Deku Princess to find temple. And no go well. Now brother captured by Deku. Brother in palace. He and Swamp in big danger. Help! So with that, guys, the monkey's gonna head inside. And next time, we will continue from this point and head into the Deku Palace. So, make sure you guys leave me some tips, leave me some comments. Just, you know, if you're not that funny, dude, you can can try to leave a funny comment maybe you'll be the comment of the video you never know with that guys make sure to give this video a thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching thanks to all of you for entering the giveaway as i said i'll probably be doing more in the future or maybe giving away you know crazy things like my pikachus or just something cool i don't know just something to keep us you know interactive and getting going so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next episode when we make our way into the deku palace goodbye